ऑर्थोगनल एरे टेस्टिंग ओ ए टी वॉट इज एन एरे सिंपल एरे इट इज टू डायमेंशन दैट इज यू डिफाइन एन एरे लाइक दिस इट इज अ कॉन्टिक्यूस सेटलमेंट ऑफ मेमोरी एलिमेंट यू यू नो यू कैन एक्सेस एनी एनी वैल्यू हियर विथ सम एरे विथ सबस्क्रिप्ट ओके नो ऑर्थोगनल एरे टेस्टिंग when we have multiple dimensions we need to have the orthogonal way of understanding so orthogonal array testing is a software testing technique that uses orthogonal arrays to create test cases this is all about minimizing the test cases i'll tell you when the cases will be very high and how we can boil down to the low test cases it is a statistical testing approach specially used when system to be tested has huge data inputs so this orthogonal array testing helps to maximize the test coverage by pairing and combining the inputs and testing the system with comparatively less number of test cases for time saving for example 100 is there you just need 10 of them how is oat represented the formula is like this so l see this is two dimension and i am talking about multiple dimension for example third dimension can be added like this so you have to understand the orthogonality like this like the ax y z axis then one more um, element one one more element like this so we represent it by l then runs levels and to the power we write factors what are these runs levels factors see first of all the runs these are the number of rows in the array which translate into number of test cases that will be generated okay factors will be number of columns in the array which translate into maximum number of variables that can be handled and levels will be maximum number of values that can be taken on any single factor okay these are just definition but we need to understand with an example so let us take an example this is an example web page just assume we have three distinct section and these section can be any time hidden and can be shown they may be visible they may not be visible so the first one we we say that this is the top part top the middle one is middle the lower one is bottom so a web page that has three distinct section that can be individually shown or hidden from a user now let us see what are our how do we make the formula and what all these represent l and whatever we write uh, write here we'll write here i'll tell you how do we get it but first it is the power that is what is number of factors factors is 3 top middle bottom these are number of factors now the levels are hidden and shown every top can be hidden and shown middle can be hidden and shown state and the bottom can also be hidden and shown state so the level is 2 factor is 3 1 2 3 factors and 2 is the level and this 4 has come from where this 4 has come from a table okay this table i am showing you on the far right so what was where was the factor where, where was the levels it is 2 raise power 3 level raise power factor and here was the 4 array type so from 4 where where has come uh, from where we deduce 4 See most of the time people say 2 to the power 3 n equals 4 these are the combination so for multi dimensionality if it is 2 raise 3 you will get 4 l4 matrix this l4 uh, the orthogonal then we have if it it would have been say 2 raise power 4 or 3 raise power 4 n would be 9 so it will be it would have been l9 3 3 raise power 4 okay 
I hope you got the idea. Two is what? Three is what? Three is the number of uh, variables. L is the variable states or a variable can take how many states? And this four or nine has come. That is from this table. Now, how many test cases can be generated? Two raised to the power three. Sometimes people say, let us make it more easier. Two into three, six test cases. Most of the time it has to be eight because this is the logical understand. But even if we don't want to understand like that, two into three is six. Six test cases are there. Our main idea is to reduce the test cases. These are the simple test cases. Top can be hidden and uh, shown. So test one, test two correspond to it. Bottom can be hidden and shown, either hidden or shown. Test three, test four. Middle can be either hidden or shown. It can be test five, test six. So six test cases are being designed. So how does this orthogonal array testing reduces the test cases? This is the conventional way of doing it. Orthogonal array testing will give you only four four test cases. These are the test cases, and on the see the matrix, you can assume it to be a table. Top, middle, bottom. These are the three variables: variable one, variable two, variable two. Every variable can take two values, hidden or visible, and these are the combination of the variable values for test one. Let me let me just give you an example. Let me make it more easier. If we say the hidden is zero and visible is one, one. So the test case number one will be the top value will be hidden. The middle part will be hidden and bottom will be will be hidden. So if you make a orthogonal array, you can easily pinpoint zero zero zero, or the test case two hidden is zero, visible visible one one. Now this particular point can also be shown on an orthogonal array. So this six has has changed to four just by using an orthogonal array. Okay. This is the use of orthogonal array testing.